you know, I, I got to do the biological age test. I, I, I'm somewhat, I, I did, you know, look, I believe wellness is a journey and, and it doesn't matter how old you are. It's never too late to start. Yet there are times when I, I look back at my twenties and, oh man, I was just a mess. <laughs> right. And, and we did damage to our, uh, bodies in those days. And we, we think we're immortal when we're 20, but now that we can measure the biological clock, we can take a blood test. We're developing in my lab, this cheek swab, which will be a lot cheaper than the current tests that can tell us our biological age. And we know that even in your twenties, you're aging your body if you don't look after it. And that goes for things you might not think of when you go to a rock concert and you listen to super loud music, you're aging your ears so that by the time you're our age, you'll have less hearing. Well, what we have found is that if you break DNA, that accelerates the aging clock dramatically. In my lab, we can drive aging forward in a mouse and make it get old within a few months. But the good news is we can now reprogram them to be young again. So we're driving aging forwards and backwards. But what this tells us is that things that break chromosomes are really potent accelerators of aging. Now, smoking will do that. Going in bright sunlight for hours and burning your skin will do that. We know that from experience. We didn't realize it was aging, but it really is. But there are other things that break DNA in our lives. There are chemicals from plastics. Even the new car smell is breaking our DNA. When we fly at high altitudes, we're breaking DNA because the cosmic rays hit us. I'm skeptical of these scanners that they're neutral. Uh, on breaking DNA and getting an X-ray or and a CT scan will break your DNA. Now we need CT scans and, and X-rays for good reason. I wouldn't refuse one from your doctor, but don't get CT scans and X-rays if you don't need them. So I've had big arguments with my dentist. Please don't X-ray my mouth every year. I don't want it. And they say, you got to have it. And I say, why? Because you need to pay for your machine. So I, I try to reduce my exposure to radiation in general. For that reason, the genes that we work on called the sirtuins that control aging, they also control the sleep wake cycle. And so those two things are totally connected. And if you disrupt your biological age, get older, you'll disrupt sleep and sleep will disrupt longevity. So you just got to keep both of those in check in parallel because they're going to affect you.